yo, what's happening? Happy people. I'm Robert Arrington, this is Deer Meat for Dinner, and this is the next series of social distancing in the outdoors. We've got Braden, I got Casey, we've got a bunch of shiners, and then this big thing, this is actually a fish box that I had built several years ago. It's filled up about halfway with water, and today we're gonna catch a bunch of fish and transport them out to the clear pond on the ranch. I have no idea what I have, but it is of large size. It's literally just pulling drag out to the center. I literally, I have no clue what this is. If it's a bass, it's going to be a freaking monster. No freaking way. Dude, you guys have no idea how big that fish was. There's a pile of bass in here. Here you go. Don't wiggle it around too much. What? Oh, here we go. What do we have here? Dad, gum it! I am using rubber hooks or something. So here's the scoop, y'all. I don't know if you can see this. I'm trying to catch them using a circle hook because a circle hook is more likely to hook them in the corner of the jaw. I'm about to think that's not the best idea. Got him. Oh, come on, baby. Look at this. Dude, he just nailed it. Oh, and he's hooked right in the corner of the jaw. The problem is, Think he's big enough? Nah. Got him. Oh yeah. Your new home is about to be the clear pond, son. Oh yeah. Come on. See that? That's why I wanted to use the circle hooks. Just so you get them just in the mouth there. He should be good. Oh, there we go. Awesome. There you go. Add an oxygen into the water. Oh, did you see that bite? <laughs> Out of the water. <laughs> He totally aired out on it. Now, seeing as I caught him on your rod, you gotta take him to the truck. <laughs> yeah. That's no <laughs> lie. Hold <laughs> on. What? Oh my God. No, he got Look at this. Oh I literally God. just caught a paku. Oh. So sorry about the rush, you guys. We just caught a huge Paku. Now, I'm going to turn him loose in my pond on the ranch. I'm not turning him loose in public water. That pond is totally isolated. I want to see if he can live there. That joker was so big that <sighs> he's had to have lived there for a while. That joker was like that long. So come here, big boy. Whoa. Come here. Look at no. Don't hurt yourself, buddy. Look at that big old beaut. Look at him. Look at the brain damage he's got. You can't kill this thing. Hold on. Come here, pal. Hold on. 
Hold on. Bro. There he goes. We gotta name him something like, well, okay, what can we name him? What an awesome fish. Caught him on a beetle spin. Old Mr. Crappie. Now, I know y'all are gonna think I'm crazy, but we're gonna put some tilapia in here because we want them to reproduce and be a food source. It's like, you know, we put all this work in here bringing out habitats and fish feeders and all that. Now we're getting to turn some fish loose. It's very important not to run completely off Oh, there's the tilapia right there. Yep. So we are back at the pond. This is another one of our castaway fish feeders. And oh my gosh. You know, this whole ranch is such a cool place, but man, there's a lot of work goes into it. A lot of money goes into it. We take and feed, that's just some floating fish food. You can see we've got habitats out there. This is the deepest water on the whole property, and uh, I'm excited to get in. It was really cool turning that Paku loose. I mean, there's only one of them, so it's not like he can breed. <laughs> it's like it's in its huge aquarium. You probably wonder why we're in camo. This morning we all got up, went out, and had an absolutely fantastic turkey hunt. Here's some of the highlights. You got him! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Go get him, boy. <laughs> How stoked were you, Casey? So happy. Yeah? Yeah. But uh, I'm gonna show them how to clean this bird. You can watch along. When we get done with that, we're gonna go to the clear pond. We're gonna jump in, we're gonna dive with all the fish, see what's going on, so and then we're gonna cook. Take the knife, and we're gonna make a cut right there. Then, there you go. It's very important. I wanna wait for the boys to get here, but I don't want your meat to get hot because I want this to be good to eat, you know? No reason to hunt or kill anything that you're not gonna eat. Look at that. You ever seen a turkey breast before? Good. Then you take this, take your knife, come right here. And just follow this down. Just keep playing it right off. Have you ever filleted a fish? Yeah. Much like the same way you would fillet a fish. That's half of your turkey breast. Pop that out. When you pop that out, your knife will get right in there. How nice does that look? Now I'm going to cut your fan out. So the next year, whenever I take you turkey hunting, 
See how that's a real fan? Yeah. Now we'll salt that and make an actual real Jake fan. Think, boy. Now our GoPro's about out of battery, but I'm gonna show you what we do next. Very simple. See that, that's your tenderloin. Take that. And then we're just gonna cut this thing into nice strips, just like that. See that? Then we can cut this thing into little chunks. So now that we have all of our turkey, the legs, thighs, breasts, everything, once it's all done, take some mojo, Creole, just do the whole bottle. Make sure you got all that love and goodness in there. Take this, nice little filio. Smell that real quick. Oh, that smells good. Yeah? Yep. We're gonna throw it on ice, and tonight we're eating good in the neighborhood. Y'all realize that alligator right there probably doesn't want me to jump in the water and film, but I'm going to. So, as long as that gator doesn't want any problems, you better stay right there. Yo, Mara, that thing looks hungry. That was so cool. going on even if I were to get bit on the hand I don't want to have to go to any hospital so I just let the alligator hang out by himself but what I thought was amazing is seeing the nice beautiful little peacock bass cruise around that was awesome people don't get it hunters by nature are conservationists we spend so much time effort and money out here on the ranch but it's a it's a labor of love we we love doing this because this gives an area for the game to come pick up some corn, cruise around in the afternoons. It's also a really good spot that we can bring our friends and family and just come see game. Day six of our social distancing for coronavirus is in full effect. We've all been like a part of our little social group. So if one of us has it, we all got it. So this, this is our group. He's gonna cut my hair. Then Taylor's gonna be helping me cook turkey, and we're just having a great day. We got Chef Boyardee here in full effect, y'all. Making us up a little Bernays sauce here, y'all. And I'm not shy about this. 
This stuff, it's Nor Bernays sauce mix. All you gotta do is put some, like a quarter cup of butter, a cup of milk, and one of these things. As you whisk it in, let it cool down, it'll become perfect. I mean, it takes like two minutes. So now we've got some on the grill, and we're gonna fry some. When you take that turkey and clean it and start marinate it for a couple days, it just comes out amazing. Okay. We are all good in the neighborhood. Look how nice and crispy and lovely they look. If your kids are ever doing this, make sure you stay close to them so they don't pull the grease to them. You gotta be very careful with that hot oil. Good job. Ooh. Party in the front? No. no. <laughs> Party in the back, business in the rear. No. <laughs> business in the front, party in the rear, bro. Hey. <laughs> I'm terrible. Check this out. Okay, look at our creation. So when we started cooking with the, the mats, I really didn't like the way it looks. So go ahead and put them all in here. Okay. There you go. We got Adam Johnson from Peluso Movers right here in Naples, Florida, giving himself a little beard trim. Gotta keep it clean. Good hygiene is important. There's some more fried turkey. Go ahead and sauce them up. Good, that's enough. Once you do that, just... do you know who's gonna love that? We'll just pour this right here. Casey! Yeah. Yeah. Come here, buddy. We got something for you. Dear Lord, I thank you very much for this day and I thank you for this food, and I thank you for our family and our friends. Lord, I pray that you give our leaders in government and doctors all around this world this, the courage and the wisdom to guide us correctly through this, this whole coronavirus scenario. We also pray, pray for those that are brokenhearted and downtrodden and facing all kinds of other dilemmas and crises in their own lives. Lord, I pray that you're there for them each and every day, showing them your grace and your love. Thank you for dying on the cross for our sins, and thank you for all of us here today. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Amen. Okay. Hey, come on. I need a Casey so Buffalo and style what is this, here. And fried? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's good. And what's the sauce? Oh, good. wow. That fry is really good. Nice. Good Casey, stuff. Buffalo is unreal. Mm. It's where it's at, man. That's what keeps you coming back, right, brother? Mm -hmm. We had such a great time. Mm. Dude, thanks for taking the boys all week. They had an awesome trip. You're the best, man. Glad you guys got to relax with us this weekend. Mm -hmm. Oh, dude. That's good. That is on fire. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like the crispy edges. Mm -hmm. And hey, if you guys think Taylor did a great job helping me out cook, drop a thumbs up and leave her some encouraging words. I love you guys, I hope you all are getting through this. Stay safe, stay inside, just enjoy your friends and your family, and sooner than later, we'll be through it, we'll be through it together. So, take care, God bless. Taylor, send us all out, right, man. Oh. Go say, we're gone. We gone.